before this video starts i want to let you guys know that i wasn't uploading because i've been sick this entire time you can probably still hear that i'm pretty sick uh but i'm honestly feeling much better um i think i'm at like the end of my uh cold i guess it's a cold i don't know but uh yeah i just want to let you guys know that's why i haven't been uploading anyways enjoy the video yo what's popping gamers welcome back to a brand new bad business video and obviously you guys tell by the title today we're talking about what weapons you should buy if you are going to buy any now i will say i don't recommend buying weapons early but i know there's a lot of people out there that do it and are interested in doing it but just don't know what they should buy I just want to apologize in advance to all the higher rank players that are about to see uh, lower rank players with meta weapons. I apologize. Anyways, you guys are watching some gameplay in the background, and I want to be talking uh, about what weapons you should buy, showing you guys setups for each of these weapons as well. Uh, but yeah, let's hop straight into this. First up, I want to talk about assault rifles. Starting off with the M16, I do recommend buying this one if you guys are going to buy a gun. Obviously, you get this at level 60, so I don't really recommend it entirely because you could just level up to level 60 and get the M16 for free. And what I will say is don't I don't recommend buying all these weapons if you're 60 plus levels away from them because it gets super expensive. If you guys don't know, the more you level up and the closer you get to that unlocking that weapon, uh, it gets a little bit cheaper each time you do level up. Just so you guys know in advance. But yes, the M16 is honestly a pretty good weapon to go with if you're going to buy something. And the attachments that I'm rocking on it right now is what you see on screen. But that is my M16 setup. And yes, I do recommend buying this if you guys want to buy a weapon early. It should be fairly cheap to unlock this. Next up on the list is the AS Val. This weapon is very, very good. Uh, the only downside to it is its ammo capacity. You can't really up it too much. Uh, but that's the biggest downside to it. Everything else is pretty much perfect for the weapon. And it should fit almost all play styles because there's a lot of different setups you can do with it. So you can definitely mess around with it quite a bit as well. The attachments I've been using recently is the Viper Barrel, 30 round mag, Ranger Grip, Minimal Stock, and Sleight of Hand on it. And if you guys don't like this setup, you can go check out my setup video that I did on the AS Val and you can find your favorite setup there. And the last weapon for you guys to buy in the assault rifle section is the M4. The M4 is just all around a great weapon. You can build it however you want. There's so many different directions you go with it. And it's hands down the most balanced weapon in the game. A lot of people think it's overpowered. But I'm going to be honest with you. This is the most balanced gun in their game. Uh, in bad business. Like it, it's super, super balanced. The attachments I'm rocking on it right now is the Flash Hider. 5.56 50 round mag. Ranger Grip no stock and sleight of hand that's what i'm currently using and i do recommend this setup if you're a fast-paced player it's uh pretty good and before we move on to the submachine gun section i just want to say i know a lot of you guys probably thought i would put the honey badger in here but i'm going to be honest with you i don't really recommend it because it's kind of a hit or a miss depends on your play style with the honey badger it was nerfed like four times now so um yeah i don't know if i would recommend this for you guys to buy early it's something that you should try when you unlock it uh, but if you're somebody that plays just like me, like you play super fast, uh, like you do in my gameplays and stuff, then yes, I do recommend the Honey Badger. And you guys can go watch my Honey Badger best class setup video if you guys want to know the best setup for it. But yeah, only buy the Honey Badger if you have my play style. A very fast pace, hold W uh, type play style. Because if you don't, then there's no point in using this over the AS Val. And you do need to run sleight of hand because the reload nerf did happen on the Honey Badger as well. So keep that in mind. Moving on to the submachine guns. First submachine gun that is worth buying 100% because it's super broken right now is the SMO3. Now, I'm not going to tell you what attachments to put on this one because it is that broken. And I don't want everybody running around with it. I'm sure you guys can figure it out. But for that reason, I'm not going to tell you the attachments. I apologize for people that want to use the broken version of this, but I don't want to give those attachments out. I apologize. But SMO3, very, very good weapon. And I do recommend uh, buying it early. Keep in mind that it's probably going to get a hard nerf soon. So it already had one nerf and it really didn't do anything, to be honest. So hopefully we do get another nerf soon because it's ridiculous how fast you die by this. Uh, but I don't recommend spending credits on it if you're scared that it's going to get nerfed soon because it most likely will. The next SMG that I recommend buying early is the MP5. The MP5 is all around a very good SMG after it got its revamp. But what I will say, the only attachment you absolutely 100% need for this to be a meta SMG is the 10 millimeter uh, conversion mag. You need to have that on if you want it to compete with uh, other submachine guns in the game. 
the mp5 is a great smg to kind of build it however you want uh you can not use the 40 or the 10 millimeter rounds and you can just put on 40 round mags and stuff like that as well it's still a good submachine gun but if you want it to compete with other smgs in the game uh, you need that 10 mil on now the next smg that i'm going to recommend you guys is the aug a2 but i don't really recommend it because i don't know if this gun is technically good or if i'm just good with it this is one of the one of the guns that i feel like not everybody could use so i don't know if it's really worth spending credits so i would probably just wait until you unlock this one to find out if you like it or not uh i don't know if i would spend credits on it over like the mp5 or the smo3 all right next up on that light machine gun list the only lmg that you should be buying early is the l85 and yes it's it's an overall good lmg it's more of a assault rifle than anything when you put specific attachments on it but i'm gonna be honest with you i don't think uh buying anything in the light machine gun section is worth buying over the assault rifle and some machine gun section uh, i would definitely recommend you guys to buy that over or over the other other sections but overall the l85 is good it's all around good uh lng that's more like an assault rifle uh the attachments that i'm currently using on it is reflex sight short barrel lightweight grip stipple tape and xp boost to unlock attachments faster but obviously i'll put on sleight of hand uh but that's the last time i used the weapon and those are the attachments that i was using while uh i was leveling it up next up in the rifle section i just think the rifle section is kind of obsolete there's obviously good weapons in here but nothing i would recommend to players uh because you could just use these other weapons and compete with everybody for the sniper section it's a pretty interesting one um I do recommend the model 1873. This was in one of the passes that you could buy, but you can also buy it for 7,000 credits no matter what level you're at, I think. But it's overall a pretty decent sniper. Uh, it's not for everybody. It's definitely not for quick scoping, but people still do it. Uh, I know I did for a little while, uh, but I really, really enjoy the model 1873. Next up is the uh, op. I do recommend the AWP. It's very good all around. It's hands down the best sniper in the game in my opinion i know some people are using the seiko still but the op is just honestly super satisfying and it's going to be super expensive because it's like fourth prestige third prestige something like that uh but yeah it's overall a great weapon and i do recommend it but if you're at prestige one i don't know if you should spend money on this but that's up to you if you enjoy iron sight uh sniping uh the mosin and the seiko is pretty good i do recommend the seiko over the mosin though uh, but the Mosin overall just feels really good. The iron sights are pretty nice. Uh, but that's more up to you. Uh, the Seiko's iron sights are pretty similar to the Mosin as well. Uh, but they're still different. But I do recommend the Seiko over the Mosin. Shotguns. I don't think you should be buying any shotguns. They don't really compete against other weapons. Obviously, you can one-shot if you get close enough. Uh, but most of the time, uh, it's not super reliable. As far as special weapons go, these are hit or miss. Uh, for example, if you buy the bow and you can actually get really good with this, uh, you might be the hardest person to kill in the game because if you actually get good with it, you could be one-shotting everybody. The rest of the special weapons aren't really amazing. I know the icicle launcher, people use that for quite some time, and I do die by it quite a bit um it's more on the better side of the special weapons but i still don't recommend buying it the only one in here i recommend buying is the bow but i wouldn't say buy it over all the other weapons that we just went through uh only buy the bow if you feel like mastering a weapon and get really good all right now moving on over to the secondaries the first thing i want to say is i'm not going to put the deeg or the magnum in here obviously people know those will one shot to the head so buy those early if you want to but i'm going to go ahead and give you guys easier weapons to use that are pretty good to buy and uh they're pretty easy to use like i said so they're for pretty much everybody if you want to one tap people in the head use the deeg or the magnum the deagle is better than the magnum uh because you can headshot from further away and the magnum overall is just more stylistic in my opinion first pistol on the list is the tech nine now if you use the tech nine and put the illegal perk on or whatever they're calling it yeah the illegal mod you could do it full auto and it's not too bad uh it's not better than the other two weapons i'm going to give you guys after this one uh but it's pretty fun to mess around with if you guys wanted the auto tech nine for a long time in the bad business you can now do that uh, by unlocking the illegal mod at level 34 on the weapon uh but yeah you could definitely mess around with the tech nine next up is the g18 uh this pistol is all around very good it's a very com competitor with the mac 10 
uh, but what I will say is this G18 is only better than the MAC-10 without attachments. Uh, what I mean by that, if you use the barebone MAC-10 versus the barebone G18, the G18 is going to outplay the MAC-10. But the second you start leveling up the MAC-10 to higher levels and unlocking all the attachments, then the MAC-10 will uh, outperform the G18. That's pretty much what I'm saying. So if you just want a good all-around uh, automatic pistol right off the rip, G18 is good to go with. Um, but like I said, if you want to put time into the MAC-10 and unlock everything, it is way better. And yes, the next uh, weapon I was going to talk about is the MAC-10. Uh, all around, very good uh, machine pistol. I, I really think this should be in primaries because it's that good. Like it literally competes uh, with all the submachine guns. It, it does. And the attachments I have on it right now, I don't know if they're meta. I didn't really go through and try to stack this out of my out of its mind i just use it as a secondary and i don't use them often so i just kind of went with it and uh yeah this is what i'm currently using lightweight laser uh blackout barrel nine millimeter 45 round mag tactical grip and folded stock that's currently what i'm using on the mac 10 i don't know if this is meta but you guys can try it out for yourourselves uh but yeah that is my pistols i recommend for people buying early if you're going to buy pistols early I hope this video is overall helpful to everybody that is confused that they should buy a weapon early or not. I know it's not super helpful in the in the way of like telling you what's better than what in each category, but overall, every single weapon I gave you is a really good competitor to the other one and is a top tier weapon. So regardless of which one you buy, you're still going to have a pretty good time uh, using the weapons. Let me know down below in the comments if there's any other helpful videos that I can make uh, to help you guys out. And I'll definitely make some more videos like this in the future. But anyways, I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for all the support recently. Peace out.